when water began to blush. Long in bondage, these Egyptian slaves thought God had abandoned them for days until Moses came upon the scene, giving them hope of freedom, a life so serene. Returning to his old family home, where he and Pharaoh used to roam, but now he brings commands from God, and in the courts he holds his rod. Thus said the Lord, said Moses so. God said, let my people go. He and Aaron had no fear. To Pharaoh they went to declare. The king of Egypt would not give in. God hardened his heart, no choice to win. The signs and wonders that made him hush, the first time water ever blushed. There upon their sacred river Nile, Pharaoh was cruising on the water in style. Then Moses stretched the rod forward over his head. Then suddenly all the water became red. What a sight to behold that day. If only Pharaoh chose to obey, all of Egypt's waters turned to blood, following the direct command of God. Water blushed as a judgment then, as a sign to turn the hearts of men. Nine more plagues followed this. Still Pharaoh was not convinced. Now let's switch to a different story, to a day when a couple chose to marry, a miracle done by Jesus in the flesh right in front of the wedding guests. By then, the wedding reception was in full swing. Jesus, his mother, the disciples in the VIP wing. They called for wine, but there was none. Jesus said, my time has not yet come. His mother said, do whatever he says. Six water pots of stone were set away. Fill them with water, yes, all six. That they did, no one did mix. Jesus said, draw out some now, they went. To the governor of the feast, they were sent. He tasted the drink in a rush. Here again, water did blush. Where did such fine wine come from? This wasn't being served when we begun. You saved the best for last, I see. The best wine in all of Galilee. Water blushed as a blessing here. One drink convinced the wedding guests there. Here, Jesus manifested his glory. Now, we've come to the end of this story. There is much to learn from these lessons. Water blushed as a curse and as a blessing. Tis our choice which one we receive. Beware of the devil who wants to deceive. Two stories, two beginnings, two endings to tell of blood and of wine, plagues and wedding bell. God's judgment and blessing both did gush the day when water began to blush. Water will one day blush once again when a bowl of wrath the third angel brings. Springs of water and rivers will be blood. This time it's not by Moses' rod. These great signs and wonders to behold the wrath of God in revelation foretold. Give God your life, take part in the wedding, not the plagues that Pharaoh back then was dreading.